Hello and welcome back to art class. Uh, today we are going to be wrapping up our organic geometric uh, design slash uh, sculpture project. Okay. Uh, you should have a piece of paper that is already colored. I will need you to have a second piece of paper because we're going to be gluing onto this piece of paper. Uh, you're going to need a pencil. You're going to want something, um, a straight edge a ruler seems to work the best. You're going to want some crayons. Uh, you're definitely going to want some glue and eraser is probably kind of handy. Okay, so first we need to color the edge of this piece of paper. And we need to color like, like a frame. And you're going to pick a color that is not the same as one of the ones. So mine was any type of green. So you're going to pick a, another color that you think will look really good with that. So I'm going to pick red. And I'm going to use my fingers as kind of a guide to figure out how thick it needs to be. So about three finger spaces. So I know I need to color in about this much. The center part doesn't really need to be colored because it's gonna be hidden with by the gluing, so there's no point in coloring it. But we need a, a little bit of a border, so you're gonna go in and you're just gonna color this. So I'll fast forward through this so that you don't have to watch me color in slow motion. So there's my border. Now we have this piece. On the back of your piece of paper, remember that we had folded this paper in half and then folded it to the middle. And then I just had you trace the lines. Uh, where the ruler kind of comes in handy is you're going to put a line right down the middle of each of these. Like that. Try to make them as even as you can. Uh, if it's not perfectly even, it's okay. Uh, you also are going to need a pair of scissors because we have to do some cutting. All right. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to work one strip at a time. You do not want to cut this apart um, too fast because it's easy to end up messing up and not knowing which strip goes with which because this is not a normal picture. So it's easy to make a mistake. So now that I have my lines, I'm going to cut my first strip. My first strip is going to go right here. Now, if you look, it fits perfectly, but we don't want it. We actually need it to be a little bit like this, about a finger space, maybe a finger space, thumb space and a half. And yeah, about a thumb space, yeah, a really thick thumb, okay? And so we are going to be next to the top here, if you notice I'm at the top of the paper. And I'm going to put a dot of glue in three spots for this first one. I'm going to put a dot of glue, I guess it would help if I open my glue, uh, spread out my dot on the end and then the other end, and on this piece I'm going to put a dot in the middle and spread it out like that, okay? So I have a dot here, I have a dot here, and then I have a dot here, and again I spread them out so that when I, I'm going to do this. First I am going to get the ends glued down, so I'm going to hold them down and I'm gonna to count to probably around a 10. I'm gonna give them an extra 10 seconds just because I'm on top of crayon. Okay. okay, notice I'm right even with the top edge of the paper. And now I'm going to put the middle so it kind of has an M look and I'll hold it up in just a second. So you can see that it has an M look to it. Okay, that's the first piece. Then I'm going to cut the second piece. Now this is going to glue slightly different. This is another reason why we want to do this one at a time. I'm only going to put two dots. So this is only going to have one dot on this one and then one dot on this. The middle is clean. I'm 
gonna line up the ends so they look correct. Like that. Then I'm just gonna continue. It's gonna be a pattern of down, up, down, up. That's how it's gonna go. But this next one, here's where the difference is gonna be. I can adjust so it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. I could stretch it out a little bit towards side a little bit so that it's a little bit higher on this side, a little bit lower on this side. And then we just continue on. I'm gonna fast forward uh, while I'm cutting and gluing. And then I'll see you at the end. Okay, uh, now that I have it together, okay, you're gonna let this sit for uh, probably a few minutes. Just double check that everything's gluing down, okay? And then you're gonna take a photo. You need to take a photo from the top. Then I recommend taking a photo from an angle like this so that I can see how it goes up and down, up and down, uh, like little waves of a program uh, or a water or things like that. So uh, you are now completed with this. It's a, a kind of a simple little sculpture that we made. And I would like you to open both photos to Google Classroom. So it will take two photos, one from right above, and then one from an angle, kind of like this. So you can see through it a little bit, okay? All right, uh, and I will see you next week.